So we are back with a student advocate and the founder of Windsor Vax Finders and here to tell us all about it, Noah Gaskin. Thank you for being here, Noah. Oh, good afternoon, Zach. Thank you so much for having me. Really appreciate it. No, no problem. Um, so how did this all get started? So a uh, great question. So um, really when I was looking at um, uh, members of our community having trouble uh, finding vaccine appointments, um, uh, having to call pharmacies uh, all across the to see if there's even availability. Um, I thought that was too challenging for people. And I know um, uh, many citizens and uh, residents across Windsor Essex felt the same. So I decided to, uh, decided to start Windsor Vax Finders. And basically what we're gonna be doing is uh, posting available uh, um, locations uh, with appointments on social media. Um, this could be the uh, pharmacies that are delivering the AstraZeneca vaccine. Uh, or the uh, mass immunization sites uh, through the health unit that are delivering Pfizer uh, and Moderna vaccines as well. Um, so I started it because we want to reach herd immunity um, and we want to save lives at the end of the day. And I feel this is the best way to accelerate that. So are there any participating pharmacies you're working with? Uh, good question. So um, when we look at the pharmacies, so as of right now, as you might be aware, and as many people might be aware, Currently, our pharmacies are running uh, quite low um, on the uh, AstraZeneca vaccine. Um, however, we are we have been made aware by the province that um, uh, there will be other types of vaccines going to the pharmacies. Um, we believe that Moderna as well as Pfizer um, will be uh, basically replacing AstraZeneca in the pharmacies. Um, but in regards to partnerships, uh, we're currently in the process of establishing contacts across uh, um, locally run pharmacies in Windsor Essex, as well as some of the bigger ones like uh, Shoppers Drug Mart. Uh, Walmart and uh, Costco. So uh, we're in the process of getting those uh, contacted right now. Um, and we look forward to uh, being ready for uh, whenever the launch date is uh, on uh, May, Wednesday, May 7th. That's when we're going to be ready and we're going to have all of our contacts uh, um, solid with the pharmacies. If you don't ask, if you don't mind me asking, it's a little sidebar. Are you vaccinated? I am. Yes. Um, I was uh, fortunate enough to receive uh, my first dose of the uh, of the uh, Pfizer uh, BioNTech vaccine um, at the um, uh, Sinclair College Sports Plec. And that was about, um, I believe, uh, four, four weeks ago, something like that. Um, and to anybody who's watching today, it was an absolutely painless experience. Um, I got the shot. Um, I only had a little bit of a sore arm, um, but let me tell you, it was way better than getting COVID. Um, okay. And I highly recommend uh, anybody who um, is interested in getting vaccinated uh, to do so because it's actually a, um, a good experience from my perspective. Yeah, I, I got vaccinated too at Windsor Hall. Right Congratulations. The the arts. Thank Congratulations. You. Um, I also had a little bit of a sore arm, but I didn't mm -hmm. have headaches. Uh, what kind of vaccine did you get? The Pfizer. <laughs> oh, nice. Awesome. Yeah, it was, it was it, they were well organized. I got to give them that. Oh, yeah. They, I think they've been great so far. Like, especially the, I, if you're asking about organization, um, I would say, I think the health unit has done a much better job um, with organization than the pharmacies. I find um, our pharmacists are great. Believe me, I think they're doing an amazing job uh, getting needles into arms and I strongly appreciate them for that. But I find um, trying to find an appointment at the pharmacies has been um, incredibly difficult for a lot of people, especially, um, maybe somebody doesn't live near a mass immunization site, but they live near a pharmacy and um, there's just that disconnect there. So obviously, yeah, there's a little bit of an organizational issue, but um, that's what we're here to uh, help and direct people to the right resources. So what are you doing to reach out to people for, uh, or to reach out to volunteers? Uh, so our uh, volunteer outreach um, has been uh, extensive as of far. Um, so basically it started small, actually. I, uh, as you may have seen on my personal uh, Twitter account, I put out a Google form, um, and basically, uh, requested, Hey, um, I'm starting a vaccine, uh, startup trying to help people find appointments in Winter Essex. Anyone's interested? Hey, go ahead and sign up. And the response was, um, I, I have to say absolutely overwhelming. Um, we had pretty, uh, volunteer sign up as of now, um, just because we want to start up and make sure everything's running smoothly, we place, uh, place the capacity of volunteers at 30. But as you may be well aware, um, the supply and demand is going to increase 
exponentially um, these next uh, three to four weeks as the province opens up uh, eligibility to everyone. And at that point, um, I can say with uh, uh, lots of confidence that we will most likely need uh, more volunteers. And um, by that point, uh, we will be putting out another call for volunteers. And um, anybody who's interested, uh, we're at, at WindsorVax on uh, Twitter um, and WV Finders on Facebook. And you'll be able to find that information there uh, if you're interested in volunteering. And I will put that link down below. Uh, Thank you. So are you bribing people? <laughs> Oh, you know, um, I'm not. Um, sure, I'm giving out free food. Every no, I'm just kidding. Um, so, um, no, we, we aren't bribing people, but I will say um, it's really out of the goodness of their heart. Like, people just want to help uh, their community um, and especially reach uh, that herd immunity point because I'm sure you're probably sick and tired of sitting at home and uh, having to go to college online most of the time. And it's just... Uh, quite annoying for a lot of people and has caused so much disruption and I think as much as yes definitely follow the public health guidelines while they're there because they're there to uh, protect everyone and um, ensure we save lives um, but I think there does come a point where people are starting to get a little bit sick and tired of it um, and the light is at the end of the tunnel I think that by the summer we're going to be golden um, in great shape if the the uh, vaccine rollout goes well um, and that's what our group is into doing as good like once you're Essex I got to say, we're doing pretty good with the vaccines. We're probably one of the best um, regions in the province uh, giving it out um, the fastest. And even though that's the truth, our group can make it go even faster. And if we want to go even faster, then uh, absolutely. Um, we're very happy to uh, uh, help in that process. So have you found it difficult going to school online? Yes, um, it has been uh, um quite the uh, predicament I will say um, it's not it's not necessarily challenging it's just it's um, hard doing it um, alone like it's hard um, not having to uh, be physically uh, with your friends um, with people um, you might work with in your school it's it's a lot more uh, difficult and I will say that um, many people are um, are experiencing the same thing so Hopefully, I think by next year, um, if we do get um, all the people vaccinated, I, I expect that we'll probably return a fully in person at some point. But that's what we're here for. Let's accelerate that timeline. Let's get back to normal faster. That's what we all want. Let's get let's get quicker. Uh, let's get there a little more quicker. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I I'll be graduating this year, and I found it wasn't too like it wasn't too bad. Although I did miss you know being uh, with people <laughs> yeah and however we did only have one I think we had a couple courses one course for sure um a week so that was good but um definitely do miss you know like having the profs be able to help you and kind of all that that was yeah, just no, kind absolutely. of lacking because there's only so much you could do over on like email and mm -hmm. all that and all that um so how many volunteers would you say you have so far um so as of right now we have uh, 30 amazing volunteers um and i will say it's a very diverse group of people they call from, come from all ages and all backgrounds um we have people um as young as high school and we have people um in retirement uh who are joining us which is absolutely amazing people in healthcare, people in the community who are just interested in helping and that's what we want we want a community coalition to help people um, uh, find appointments because when I had the, a meeting with our volunteers actually um, uh, two days ago, um, we had a great discussion about um, even before they joined our group, they were helping people find appointments just on their own, just trying to navigate people through the system. And it's better if we have a centralized um, group of people because like I, I'm sure you've heard of, uh, you may have heard of Vaccine Hunters uh, Canada. Um, that's kind of the premise we're going for. I had chatted with their group. They are absolutely amazing, doing a great job, but we thought it'd be better if we have something locally, um, especially um, there's um, more uh, diverse needs locally than I would say the rest of Canada. Um, and our volunteers know our community very well and we're gonna be committed to helping people. All righty. Um, I just gotta say that it's incredible, you know, young people like yourself getting out there, at least doing something to at least make a difference. In, in our community. It's just, it's fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate that. We we want to end this pandemic sooner. Why 
why just sit around and do nothing? Why, why just sit around and do nothing? That's my uh, general philosophy. I mean, pajama pants do have a place. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say I, um, I've gone to uh, several of my meetings. Um, I, I, I'm dressing a little bit nicely today, but other means, you know, I just, I just dress in uh, pajama pants or some uh, sweatpants and, you know, just go because, yeah, what's the point of dressing nice if you're at home? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So next up, so I will be asking you three generic questions. Sure. Um, in a segment called uh, Three Questions With. Well, so, sure. um, but here's the interesting part about this segment. You can mm-hmm. pass on one question. So I can pass on one of them. Okay. You can pass on only one. And I will tell you right now, it'll be most likely very obvious. Okay, go ahead. So what is your favorite movie? Oh, good question. Um, you know, I have a lot of favorite movies, but I have to say the number one on my list would be Forrest Gump. Um, <laughs> kind of generic for a lot of people, but won an Oscar. Um, and I will say um, it, it's my favorite movie. Um, really great storyline, great people. And Tom Hanks is an amazing actor. So yeah, I'd say that's my favorite. I, and just really quickly, I will say Forrest Gump is, is the story of my life. Um, so <laughs> what is your favorite uh, artist? What, what artist do you like to listen to the most? Oh, my favorite artist. Um, you know, I, that really varies over time. There could be one week where I'm really into one person, then another week I could be into another person as well. Um, but I'll go off of right now, currently, and I'm going to tell you this is going to change <laughs> over time. Uh, St. Motel, um, I just started listening to them on Spotify. I'm like, man, they're pretty good. Not bad. So as of today, that's my favorite artist, but likely to change, I'd say. Interesting. So is there a friend or someone in your life you like the least? Um, I'm going to pass on that one. Yes, I'm going to pass. All righty. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Windsor Vax Finders will launch May 5th, 2021. Noah Gaskin, everybody. Thank you so much for having me, Zach.